What is up guys, my name is Solheim and I am a World of Warcraft player with a particular interest in gold farming and if you've been around for a while, welcome back. So I recently got invited to the TBC beta, well I guess it's kind of been a couple of weeks now and during that time I've tested out some bugs, I've done some dungeons, I've done some quests and I've tested out some farms and during that process I actually managed to get myself to level 70 and one of my main objectives when I got invited to the beta was to see exactly how much gold you can expect to make simply by leveling in the Burning Crusade. That way you know exactly how much gold you will want to have in advance, so you can start farming in Classic WoW, since that gold also carries over into TBC. So during my time leveling in TBC I actually kept track of exactly how much gold I made, which I mean isn't really difficult to do, you just have to not spend any gold, and any time I did have to spend any gold, I sent that exact amount of gold over from a different character. So this is everything that I've actually made from questing, and simply vendoring things. I should also say that I started this character at level 58, so technically this is how much gold you make from level 58 to level 70. But at level 60 I only had about 250 gold in my bags, so if you're really trying to be picky, I guess you can subtract 250 gold from the total value of the end, if you only care about how much gold you will make from level 60 to 70. I should also say that I did a little bit of dungeons as well as questing, basically a bit of everything. I actually did mostly questing, but also a couple of dungeons. For example, I ran Hellfire Ramparts a total of 8 times to get the staff, or at least that's the amount of times that I kept track of, and I also ran Blood Furnace once for the quest. I ran Slave Pants and the Underbog once each for the quest as well, and I also ran Mana Tombs three times, and I did one run of Shadow Labyrinth and one run of Set of Calls. I completed pretty much all quests in Hellfire Peninsula and Sangor Marsh, as well as roughly 80% of the quests in each of the other zones. This is important to know because certain leveling strategies will produce more gold than others, and I believe doing quests will give you a lot more gold while leveling than doing something like dungeon grinding, but dungeon grinding has other benefits such as gear and reputation. What I'm trying to say is that how much gold you will make while leveling will depend on how you choose to level, as well as a little bit of RNG. Okay, so let's get right into it. So once I hit level 70, I had 2,562 gold in my bags, which is actually a much larger amount than I originally thought, as the first couple of levels actually didn't give me too much gold, but once I got past 1000 gold and roughly around level 65, I started noticing quests started giving a much higher amount of gold per quest, and I also had to complete even more quests per level, and also group quests and dungeon quests also gave more gold than regular quests, but I guess that's kind of obvious. On top of that, several quests gives you green or blue gear, and as long as, long as neither of the quest alternatives are an upgrade, I always pick the item with the highest vendor value, just to squeeze every ounce of raw gold that I can while leveling. But to actually understand the full value of how much gold I made while leveling from 60 to 70, we actually have to look at my bags and my bank, as I've, I've been keeping several items that can be auctioned, and since this is the beta, I also wanted to keep track of everything, so I've just stored it in my bank. So if I just put everything of value from my banks to my bank, you can see the amount of actually useful items that I obtained while leveling is quite substantial. And yes, I do have a lot of primals, but I've actually tested out a couple of gold farms on this character, so you can ignore most of them. But you do get a couple of them while leveling, especially Primal Shadow, Primal Mana, Primal Water, and Primal Life. You will get most of life from a mob in Sangor Marsh that you have to kill quite a few of, for a couple of different quests, you will get modes of water from both Terokar Forest and Nagrand, you will get modes of shadow from Nagrand, and you will get modes of mana from Netherstorm. I've also gotten a huge amount of Netherweave Cloth, and to my knowledge, only 5 stacks came from actively farming, which was part of my Primal Shadow Gold Farming video. All of the other cloth has been obtained from questing and doing dungeons, and you will actually get a lot more than you think from simply questing, because there are a lot of humanoids. I also got 3 Corium Ore, as well as a rare gem and a rare recipe, all of which I obtained from opening chests, which you can find both in the open world and inside dungeons. 
There's also quite a few reputation items that are actually tradable, so you can sell those for some gold as well if you don't need or want the reputation yourself. So to get the true number of gold that I got from leveling or while leveling in the Burning Crusade, you also have to keep in mind these items as well, and they would probably net you another couple of hundred, if not even a thousand gold as well. Now there are obviously ways of making more gold while leveling if you include a little bit, little bit of farming as well, and while we are talking about gold farming I want to mention the TBC Gold Making Guide by Student, which you can still grab through the link in the description, and by using the code SOLHEIM when you purchase it you can save 50%. This guide contains a couple of gold farms that will help you make even more gold while leveling, as well as make gold when you're level 70. So if you're new to TBC or just want to make some gold, definitely check out that guide, and keep in mind you get it for half the price by using the code SOLHEIM. I do believe that I was probably on the high spectrum of the gold you will get while leveling, but I do think it's fair to assume you will get anywhere between 1000 and 2,000 raw gold from leveling depending on your leveling method, probably closer to 1,000 gold if you're purely dungeon leveling, and between 2,000 and 2,500 if you're only questing, and then anywhere in between that if you're doing a mix of both. Personally, this was one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to level to 70 on the beta, and my reasoning for this is that by knowing roughly how much gold that I will make from leveling in the Burning Crusade, I know roughly how much gold I need to have in Classic, so if I for example have more than 4000 gold I can put that gold into investments for TBC, that will probably end up giving me even more gold over time, as there are some items in Classic WoW that is still on high demand in TBC as well, such as the Elixir of Demon Slaying which will be used throughout the entirety of TBC, and especially in later raid tiers, and the materials for this will also stay relevant in TBC aka Ghost Mushrooms and Grum's Blood. You also have Brilliant Wizard Oil, which will keep the price of Large Billion Shards and Fire Bloom high as well. And because of direct inflation from higher numbers of raw gold being produced passively, as well as raw gold from actual gold farms as well as quests and daily quests, I do expect these items to go up in price over time, and by spending any leftover gold that I have in Classic on these items, I can set myself up for a much better time in TBC by potentially doubling or tripling my gold with those investments. I also thought this would be an interesting piece of information for new players because I know a lot of you will want to get that epic flying as soon as possible when you hit level 70, and by knowing roughly how much gold you get while leveling in TBC, you also know how much gold you will need to farm up before TBC comes out. I also think it's kind of funny to compare how much gold you get from questing in TBC compared to Classic, because in TBC you can go from level 60 to 70 in less than 2 days played, well I guess that kind of depends on how fast you want to rush through the content, but I do know some people will do it in less than 24 hours played, but for most people I think it will take about 2 days played time, and from 2 days of questing I pretty much made 2500 gold. And if we compare that to Classic WoW, I spent about 8 days of played time to reach max level on my first character, and I was nowhere close to even 1000 gold. So yeah, a quick recap, I leveled up to level 70 on the TBC beta, I kept track of all of my gold and items, and I pretty much ended up earning 2500 raw gold, as well as some sellable items that could end up giving me a couple hundred more gold. I'll be honest with you, at the end of my leveling process when I was uh, level 69, they announced they would do separate beta realms for raid testing with level 70 templates, so I got really discouraged from leveling the last level, but simply the idea of actually checking how much gold I can make while leveling to, se to 70 actually kept me going, so I really hope this video is helpful to some of you, and personally I know I have a little bit of extra gold in Classic WoW now, so I'm going to go and buy some large billion shards and ghost mushrooms. If you did enjoy the video, please, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, and let me know in the comments down below how much gold you currently have in Classic. And thank you so much for watching, I'll see you again very soon.